welcome to the special broadcast at the print. We are joined today by uh, Design Box founder Naresh Arora, who has been DK Shivkumar, the president of the Karnataka Congress's chief strategist over the last two years. And congratulations, Naresh. Firstly, thank you so much for speaking to us. And we thank have, you, Shadita. And we have with us our political editor, DK Singh, as well. And Naresh, today we're going to be picking your brain on what went behind the Congress victory today. Of course, um, you know, overwhelming and fantastic victory. So if you could tell us a little bit about how you planned for this, because this has not been like a two-month campaign, it's been a long sustained campaign. So how did you guys go about it? And what were, if I could say, the top two, three points that you guys had in mind when you were going into the campaign? Uh, thank you once again, Shadita and uh, DK Singh. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this campaign was a bit different to the other Congress campaigns in the past or the recent past, I would rather say. Because here we started in time, as in the party started in time. And uh, I keep saying this, I probably would have said this to a lot of you people also off the record, that you cannot buy time with money. And if you have time, then you are able to connect with the voters in a better manner. First of all, you need to understand and that requires time. Like, for example, if you meet someone for the first time, you don't, I can, in normal situations, start with a dinner meeting you start with a coffee then you start with it then you go probably to try to we had time over here and that was only because of the congress president here dk shiv kumar envisioning in that way because generally, I have also worked with Congress Party since last seven years in nine states. And in, this is the longest campaign that we have had. The last longest leg was in Chhattisgarh in 2018, which in which we had nine months. But here we had more than double the time over here. So time was one thing which I would stress upon that it was, a, uh, it was one of the factors. Secondly, two years back, the Congress Party's expectation or own expectation was not what it was seen in the last two, three months when the entire Delhi media dwelled on Karnataka and Bangalore to see that, okay, fine, there is some contest going over there. Would there be a BJP victory? Would there be something else, et cetera, et cetera. So, and he was envisioning in that way and Congress party, because it was self, it, 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 it was underconfident about it. It required continuous dose of, um, vitamin E, vitamin energy. And DK Shivkumar himself being a relentless warrior, like you see him, a rugged war horse, who is not into a, um, I would say, the, the present day grooming structures that you see to politicians in. He's an old style uh, rural guy, um, has won many elections for himself and for others around him and has won big contests. So he knew that how to keep the party going. And uh, that is why we and him together were designing campaign after campaign based on the issues and the feedbacks which were being received from the ground. Whether it was petrol related issues, whether it was COVID related issues, whether it was price size related issues. But the difference between the campaigns was that it was, it was these were not just criticism campaigns. They had a narrative of their own. For example, I'll give you that when petrol prices uh, touched 100, so a campaign was launched called 100 Not Out. Now, the uniqueness of 100 Not Out campaign was that party decided to do uh, uh, dharnas on petrol pumps, but it was done in a protocol manner from block to district to division to state so seven days, those uh, four days, those protests were, were held. Another unique part of it was that every protest was Zoom linked. There was a control room, which DK, of course, himself was heading, was watching that whether the petrol pump protests were happening in the way they were supposed to happen or not. So when someone is watching, like a uh, like an employee, if the employee knows that the employer is seeing him or her, he would at least try to put in the effort, even if he doesn't want to. So the Congress party workers knew that whatever they are doing, they are being seen, they are being watched, and they will be judged based on that. This is one of the examples I'm giving you. 
and similarly there was a very uh, different kind of social media utilization also because social media general understanding is that you put up some tweets you put up some videos and that is what social media understanding is but without ground activities social media according to me doesn't influence at all at all social media is a vehicle social media is not the narrative the vehicle needs narrative and narratives are built on the ground and those narratives were consistently being built one after the other social media was being used and social media helped it the narratives to reach the congress party's own workers own cadres own voters first these are the most important part we always keep thinking when we are analyzing on 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 various uh, spectrums ye wala vote shift ho raha hai ye wala vote shift ho raha hai this vote is shifting that vote is shifting i have never heard a conversation which the starting fundamental point is whether a or b party is retaining its vote share retaining <laughs> vote share is also a, an effort retaining a vote share is also an achievement because voters vote you doesn't mean that they are continuously going to keep voting you for after being taken for granted so you need to enthuse your own voter also and for that you need vehicles vehicles in congress party unfortunately are not that a uh, big a number of cadre or workers like bjp has but still you have the people who go on the on the ground let's if we can take you back a uh, few months back or a couple of years back uh, see uh, you want to dk shiv kumar what prashant kishore was to bamta banerji for instance now there were many strategists in the congress sunil konugulu and all these people they arrived there much closer to the election a few weeks before the election you have been building the ground or uh, doing the ground work for the last two years So tell us how you got into this uh, campaign. Of how was it like when you arrived in Bangalore first? How was the Congress then, and how you transformed it? I see. We've been talking to uh, Mr. Shiv Kumar. We started our talks three years back, and um, we had a couple of rounds. And after that, um, we were given a Sam. We, we we were engaged in the Sam campaign. And after that, we the COVID second wave when it happened, the lockdown happened. That is when we started working together. and because it was again a unique circumstance that the entire city entire state is locked down and you are asked to work i mean you are not even able to mobilize your own team forget about mobilizing anyone outside the team and on the on the ground so it was a very uh, different experience to start with and then as you know in congress party it is not a easy ride in any case till the time you are um, just about to the the finishing line if you are just about to the finishing line then you might uh, uh, might clear it without any hiccup or hurdle but uh, otherwise if you are distant or you starting the laps it it, it is a difficult ride but uh, anyways uh, uh, the work was consistent uh, uh, the first campaign as i was telling you started in the covid times so in covid times there was a narrative being built against congress party that congress party is against vaccination mm-hmm. at that time vaccination had come in so we started two or three campaigns around that the first one being let congress vaccinate in that let congress vaccinate there was a, a, an offer made by the congress leadership with dk shiv kumar leading it and the clp leader alongside that congress party mps and mlas will be pitching in 1 crore rupees each and whatever the shortfall will be to complete a 100 crore offer congress party will pitch in from its own pocket so we are ready to buy vaccines for 100 crore rupees ourselves government needs to permit us to do that because vaccination was not off the shelf uh, by there and that was at the time when central leadership of the congress was not very clear about the vaccine some congress leaders were even had reservations about the vaccines i don't know about that but there was a narrative being cooked up or uh, propaganda going on that congress party is against vaccination which was not the case as i understand so congress party started with this 100 crore campaign and it uh, because of course the government was never going to allow it so some of the congress leaders then privately started procuring vaccination for 1 crore 2 crore whoever was able to gather as much money and those private vaccination camps were started so that again was a big campaign to kill the narrative or to settle the narrative that it is not right that congress party is against vaccination on on say on on the same lines there was a uh, digital media campaign launched called vaccinate karnataka in which the congress president dk shiv kumar asked the children of the state the school going children of the state to make a 2 minute video 
basically encouraging their parents to get vaccinated for their own safety. In that, there were some rewards to be off to be offered. Hundred tablets were offered. So, fifty-two thousand kids participated in that an online program. So, fifty-two thousand kids participating, non-political people, just uh, on the call of a Congress politician or Congress president, uh, was a big phenomenal number. Such kind of initiatives, according to me, brought a lot of confidence in the party that yes, these kind of things also work. Because when you work with a politician. Like D.K. Shiv Kumar, who has won several elections for himself and for others, I cannot or no one can tutor or school those people. You can only bring in some other perspectives. But at the end of the day, the call is of the leader, and the leaders are much more experienced than us. Probably as their experiences as old as our, as our age or our team's ages, so they need to be convinced with the perspectives. Yes, they would they would they would try to bet on you, and then they need confidence from the success of the. Initiatives you take or you plan. So once these initiatives started getting traction, people were getting attracted, engaged. So that built confidence, and then a series of campaigns kept happening. Make it that to Yatra was another campaign, which was the brainchild of D.K. Shiv Kumar's brother, that uh, we need to do this. And then of course it was all decided and discussed and decided, and it was a huge success. And during the Make it that to campaign, also COVID came. Several cases were poured. And uh, against D.K. Shiv Kumar, and then the yatra had to be stopped, and there was an interval gap, and then five days again, and he walked for two hundred kilometers from uh, Mekeda to uh, the uh, the Sangam point to Bangalore, and it went on for ten days, and around fifteen twenty thousand people were walking every day. So these kind of initiatives transformed the Congress Party, and Congress Party is one party in which people who are fence sitters. uh try to come on board when they see that the bus might be missed and for that you need to fuel the bus someone needs to drive the bus and there need to be some passengers for the others to feel that okay i might miss it out so this is a template according to me which congress should uh adopt because uh, this is uh, this works this has worked always when they are winning when there is a glimmer of hope also they will come on board and they'll work Digital membership was another initiative. Digital membership was not like the memberships that have happened in the past. That okay, fine, membership slips are being filled, uh, sitting at your office or sitting in someone else's residence. It was an OTP based system. There were enrollers. D K Shiv Kumar himself, early morning, used to go to railway stations and ask people to enroll in Congress Party. I'm not saying that all 78 lakh members were new members. I'm pretty sure the majority of it them are old members, but. uh the, the, this was another initiative and uh, karnataka congress was able to achieve a 78 lakh number which was the highest in the country so I mean, then bharat joda yatra also came in yeah shalta i believe that the kpcc had a separate app from what the actual membership app was right but there was an aicc system but the kpcc also wanted to have it in a way that uh, that they, they were confident about they wanted that things should be Uh, uh useful to them also and they do it in a purposeful way so some systems were made uh, which kpcc had control about you spoke of cases against uh, shiv kumar now tell me uh, when the income tax people raided you were you scared did you think you are getting into a messy situation let's get out i was honestly very surprised when i was raided dikes inji uh because uh, design box is according to me uh, it is a fact to be verified by journalists like shadita or uh, sharna uh, sharan uh, that um, only political consultancy which has ever been uh, troubled by the agencies or raided by the agencies so i was quite surprised uh, but uh, uh, i mean i might be i am i'm sure i'm being seen and heard by a lot of people who would not want me to be in this place Uh, but uh, that determined our resolve further i might still have to bear a lot of consequences going forward and i do face them all, almost on a daily basis but that determined our resolve further because see at the end of the day we are professionals we are doing a professional job and professional job if it is being done uh, it should be dealt with professionally and not with vendetta and if i get disturbed with me 500 people who work alongside also get disturbed so at the end of the day if it was against any mal practices by us 
I mean, there are many other ways also. But yes, to answer your question, it never uh, stuck me that I should withdraw. I never know. I we never know that what happens, what is in store for future. But yeah, I determined to resolve further. Sharan, uh, you, you you have been on the ground. You are always there. Did you? How did you see the design box impacting the Congress? Say from two years earlier and now, what it has come to? Before you answer that question, Sharan, uh, if I could just remind our viewers. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you have to repeat your question. Uh, network's a little patchy here. Okay, so I said, how did you see design box impacting the Congress? What it was two years earlier and where it has reached today? Uh, I'm and sorry, you'll have to repeat a part to, of it. Uh, Mr. Nareesh Arora. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, Sharan. I can hear you. Yeah, I, I, mean, uh, I just want uh, DK. I just want you to repeat that question because the network's a little patchy here. There are too many OB vans around. Okay. Do you have any question to Mr. Arora? Yes, yes, of course I do. I have, my first question is, uh, what's well, I mean? What are your challenges going forward? I mean, of course you have made it this far. Now, how do you go forward? I mean, you've got an image that would bring the Congress Party, you know, to power. But, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of complications going forward. Uh, what do you think they are? If you can tell us, share some insights with us. Sharon, as far as I understand your question and uh, read between the lines, you are wanting to know about the future government formation <laughs> formalities and who will be leading the government, etc. I mean, I'm not a stakeholder in that. But uh, obviously, uh, in ideal scenario, the person who has led the party to the, the, the results that we see today uh, should be the front runner and he should be rewarded with it so that he is able to implement what he has promised to people. And right. I can tell you uh, on record that the promises made or the guarantees uh, given to the people, a lot of them are the brainchild of Mr. Shiv Kumar. You got your answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, also, I, I just want to know what went into, you know, uh, because uh, last time around we saw a very different kind of manifesto and this time around we saw very you know, a very targeted sort of uh, manifesto, including, you know, the welfare schemes that you were speaking about earlier. I just want to know what, uh, how did you come up? I mean, you, you're saying that DK Shukumar was the brainchild behind this. How did you come about this and what sort of impact were you expecting when you first started off with this? I'll, I'll, I'll put this in uh, context related to uh, Assam first. In Assam, this experiment of guarantees was undertaken first time in the political scene. The word guarantee was used as an election promise, first time in Assam. There we had another, another challenge of time. We were just 70 days. So guarantees were popular, quite popular in the media circles, but they were, we were, didn't have the time to make them reach people. And some of the guarantees have been taken directly from Assam, like 2000 rupees for every women household head as a direct uh, intake from Assam campaign. The word guarantee is a direct intake from Assam campaign. It is after Assam that uh, the Amadi Party used it as a word, as, as a as a election uh, promise in Punjab and thereafter in Gujarat. So guarantee word came from Assam, and we were I was very confident in Assam also that these guarantee things will strike. Guarantee things because manifestos in any case, Sharon, no one reads. It is only for academic purposes. We all know that it is for you and me to research over and find flaws in that, or see that what has worked and what has not worked, or the political parties to attack each other. But people need to know what matters to them in an easy format. And when we talk about easy format, the numbers also have to be limited. And they have to address, if not all, but yeah, majorly their, their daily concerns. So the, that was the basis of, first of all, the guarantees introduced in Karnataka. Now, when we talk about all five guarantees, if you see that they have been very heavy on the women household, the women have been... Uh, given uh, special attention in all these guarantees, whether it is about the uh, 2,000 rupees, whether it is about the free yatra, whether it is about the free uh, uh, 10 kg of rice, whether it is about 200 units, these all are actually coming to the house. It is not that if, if, even if the UNED is there, mothers are the ones who are more worried about their uh, kids and their children who are growing up that how will they survive if they not have job, etc. Cetera, et cetera. But uh, this is something which was kept in mind and uh, those guarantees were introduced accordingly. The number was five, considering that the Congress hand, Congress symbol is hand, fingers are five, it is easy to remember. And they are majorly addressing a lot of concerns. Bigger detailed manifesto was also made, as you know, 
and uh, it it is always a, a late entry in congress which i think it needs to be corrected according to in my opinion personal opinion there should be no manifestos no party should issue a manifesto manifestos if issued should be a a mandatory thing an obligation legal uh, obligation to the party to implement it because it is just a document made and then talked about at the end of 5 years so five guarantees at least you and me all will remember and you will be able to ask questions if they are not implemented and people will be also able to ask and the ruling party will remember that these are the first five things which we need why did dk shivkumar go for this supposed ban on organizations like bajrang dal it was part of a manifesto i don't know whether it was dk shivkumar or somebody else did it help you did it cost you well uh, um, dk shiv kumar as pcc president i'm sure would have seen it at some stage but uh, according to me it was uh, the manifesto committee which decided on it and then it was uh, put in the public domain but regarding the costing part i don't think so in the numbers don't tell us that it has costed us anything uh, when we were uh, when the polling was uh, polling was not held even in our service it was not making any kind of impact or resonance on the ground to influence a vote, voter mindset how did you prepare for the imminent modi impact you would you would have expected that in that this great modi would come hold a lot of rally road show how did you prepare for that See, the easiest way to do that is i mean lesser uh, said than done that uh, you start in time and prepare yourself to be so far ahead that you are able to sustain the last last uh, two months or one month blitz grade that is the first thing the second thing is that you localize the election as much as you can even the once you localize the election and you in that you uh, then you, then you uh, ensured internalization of that localization to the voter i don't think so it works do you also subscribe to this generally held view that the pm modi's magic doesn't work in the state assembly elections i i i think that see anti incumbency is always going to be there against any government which is in power it is going to be against any boss also in an organization so it this is something which is a given now the fact is that how much is there an alternative to that incumbent and how much is that incumbent uh, or the alternate able to convince the people that yes i can be an alternative it is not that the anti incumbency was not there against bjp in this time gujarat elections it was similar or probably lesser than this time in the last assembly, gujarat elections in which congress performed well but there congress tried to become an alternative this time congress didn't try probably they would have performed much better a party who was born just a couple of years back was able to make an impact at least at the media narrative level of course they they took some votes and seats also then why wouldn't congress have been able to because amani party in gujarat was being seen as someone who's trying to become an alternative and these days voters will not allow you to take their vote for granted that is a given and that thing bjp understands very very well they have all the datas they have all the surveys in place and they know that if naresh is voting for them or not still they try to keep connecting with naresh again and again even if naresh has voted for them five times the mm-hmm. voter needs to be reminded needs to be interacted with and not be taken for granted that is the role of the opposition or the any political party so when we talk about the role of the prime minister not being as impactful in state elections as you have asked i think that if there is an opposition which is ready to be an alternative i think that is where the role of the prime minister decreases or increases if there is a roll over like gujarat of course everyone will see that okay fine prime minister has won the election for them but in karnataka again there is another factor which i would like to put on record is that karnataka is a very different state than our north indian states i have worked in north east also i have worked in north india and i have worked in other uh, western parts also but karnataka is a very different state which sees the uh, the the um, central leadership in a different light and i think bjp could have invested more on their local leadership and that would have 
given them bigger dividends than what it has what, what it has achieved today Nadesh, if I could ask you, if we look at the results, we see that the gains of the Congress have actually come from the JDS. So the BJP's voting percentage has remained largely the same from the last election. It is the JDS whose uh, percentage of votes has reduced, which is from where the Congress has gained. So in that context, when you were working with Mr. Shiv Kumar, was there a conscious push to project him as the next big Vokadiga leader in the state, say, the next David Order? See, the, um, now he's born into a particular caste is something which we cannot help with. We have to play with it. A Vukaliga leadership in Karnataka has been Mr. Devi Gauda unquestionably since the time that he has been the Prime Minister or probably the Chief Minister also. Vukaliga vote is also not spread as um, uh, evenly as other castes might be spread across the state of Karnataka. So that gives it a, uh, that's put uh, that puts the leader coming from that community at a disadvantageous situation. But still, the kind of work that he was doing, because there was there were a lot of caste movements also in these last two years from different castes in Karnataka. But Mr. Shivkumar did not actively participate in the Vokuliga reservation movement also. Still, people see in uh, the kind of uh, uh, human being that he has been, because see, how he is seen outside and how he is seen as from the people by the people who know him are totally, I mean, diametrically opposite things. So the community which you are talking about, its youth is quite impressed with Mr. Shivkumar's style of being. He's a go-getter, he's a showman, he tries to put things in order, he tries to project things like the way they showed, for example, the Freedom March, which we keep talking about and, 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 uh, last year, which it was. It was a common program given to every Congress state unit by at the Udaipur Chintan Shivir that on the 15th of August they will do it. But he still tried, he put up a show which was the biggest ever in the history of our country on 15th August. Three lakh people joined in. And that was not made of the, the, the uh, there were one lakh registrations on the website. 80% were below 35. That told us, of course, we have the caste data also that the community and the age group they support him a lot because they see future in him and they see that because the, the, the youth are an impatient lot. They don't like to see things from 10 year perspective. They like to see in 10 weeks perspective. So that light, I would say that yeah, the community has supported him. And I was seeing the data while before talking to you that the out of this uh, JDS stronghold of 26 odd seats, Congress is winning 20. So we have a question from one of our uh, from one of our viewers, Aditya. He's asking, do you think the Congress should now work on a different strategy as it did in Karnataka, considering the fact that the BJP has probably now caught on to it and will course course correct very fast? Strategy different to Karnataka. A strategy different like Karnataka. Every state has different requirements, but one requirement is same everywhere. That is time. And second requirement is focus. You have to have complete focus on what you are wanting to achieve. For that, there are no compromises. In the ticket selection in this uh, in this election also, I, I, I know that both the leaders, the top leaders, the CLP and the PCC president, more so the PCC president because I worked closely with him, was willing to let go of his own personal choices in the interest of the winnability factor and in the interest of the party. I will tell you very one interesting thing. Then the first time when I met him, the presentation which I showed him, he rejected it outrightly. And the reason for that was not that it was a bad presentation. The presentation was him-centric. So he said that, no, I want something which is party-centric. thing. So that is how he thinks about it. And that is what, what he has been consistently telling. And I can see that the results are here today, that uh, party has achieved the numbers that uh, it has Shannon, do you have any question? Yeah, I, I want to know. I mean, how, how do you see? The, the, I want to ask two questions. Really. One is, how did you resist the temptation, you know, when the BJP went to the offensive on Hindutva and other things? Uh, how did you first resist the temptation and then convince the central leadership to toe sort of uh, the line that only local issues will be spoken about? 
what kind of role did uh, you know dk shivkumar have to play in trying to get the central leadership also to go uh, on the same track see sharan these all inputs come based on the feedback you get or assessment you make on the ground if you if you if you ask anyone that would you be voting because a or b organization has been asked to be banned or not or would you want to vote because you are going to get some rebates and discounts in your daily expenditure or your monthly expenditure i'm pretty sure the people will uh, vote for the latter when you know that these things work on the ground what works on the ground and you give that based uh, the the uh, feedback based on that leaders are wise enough to hold on to it and then walk the path this 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 is what i'm saying that the focus is absolutely required that traps will be laid everyone will play strategy it is a match it is a game everyone has punches to throw at it is about that which one you duck and which one you respond to Before we let you go, just one question. Now, from here, you are moving on to Ras. You are going to be the Prashant Kishore for Ashok. Ashok. Why this? Why? Why this terminology? Is it a term? <laughs> just wanted to ask you, how do you feel being compared to Prashant Kishore? Like DK has done it twice in in this uh, in this show. We are all professionals. Everyone is working in the professional field, and um, I mean, uh, comparisons are for you people to make. We only work on what we are, what what our focus is on. The comparisons are for the media to make. No, that was just a uh, comment. What I want to ask you is now you are in Rajasthan. You have different challenges. In Rajasthan, you will be facing anti-incumbency. Your leadership is the uh, entire party is in disarray with two top leaders fighting. how do you propose to manage that how 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 are you thinking of managing the entire thing now that your agenda in the cannot carry over the uh, dkg we've been work we've been in rajasthan since last four months and uh, situation is not as uh, uh, you are thinking it about that it is all in disarray it's not like that uh, there there is a very popular chief minister over there and uh, he has done some good work in terms of governance policies etc which are individual centric beneficiary centric things we are running some campaigns over there i think we should have a separate show on rajasthan let's leave it for karnataka today because for rajasthan we have a lot to tell you a lot to discuss with you and probably then you will have then you should visit one day rajasthan you will probably have a first hand feedback that things are not that much in disarray which is which which they seem to be far away from delhi no it is not very far but still i would like you to visit rajasthan soon we have a separate show on rajasthan much more informed one sure, of course <laughs> okay that and, and also just just one last thing uh, uh, the image and the brand building that you did for dk and you know whatever uh, you know the uh, kind of inputs you gave him till here i mean is this enough for him to go to the, the next stage or is there anything else that needs to be done for his brand in order for him to you know get on the top chair a different hairstyle maybe i don't know dressing i don't know what what it takes as you have figured out sharan is a very dogged reporter <laughs> he gives you gyan much more than we can give him that yes we give our inputs we give our suggestion and um, uh, it's a privilege that they are accepted and uh, they work if they are working then i'm sure that they'll continue to work and the association will continue going forward also <laughs> all right on that note thank you so much for joining us nareesh it was great having you on the show thank you sharan thank you dk thank you we'll be thank you everyone thank you everyone starting the karnataka elections very very closely please watch out for our other programming through the rest of the day and also all our copies that are going to be coming thank you so much for watching thank you